JKS and Hoxie 2G2, Hany to MIBR, Stewie's departure from the competitive scene, and the return of Stanislav. Hey, it's Heiko with another episode of HLTV Peak, a show in which we provide a short summary of all the important news that recently happened in CSGO scene. Let's get started. In the last seven days, we saw so many roster announcements and reports, so let's divide them into those that happened in the NA, Europe, and Brazil. All right, then first of all, let's focus on all of the news that we recently collected about EG. In his tweet, Stuart Ike announced his retirement from competitive CS. He revealed that his plan is to focus on streaming, yet cryptically added that the future isn't determined. The news comes after reports surfaced suggesting that EG will sign Misuda from Vitaly and Neelan from K23 to replace Stewie and Rush. Another piece of EG's news is related to their other roster. Klasia was removed from EG City's active roster due to persistent issues outside of the server. According to a report by das 2 yes, none other than Stanislav will take his place in the team. Another big North American organization, Complexity, also decided to go for some changes. On Twitter, they announced the benching of their Oprah Jr., who joined the organization at the start of 2022, and the signing of a Norwegian player, Halzer, who most recently played for Dignitas. In the meantime, on the other side of the globe, in Europe, people were speculating about who's gonna take Jax's spot as the new rifler, and of course, most importantly, who's gonna take Alexi B's spot as an IGL. There were a lot of rumors, and some players like Tapson from Big probably got their fair share of fun from teasing the fans, but now, finally, we have the desired reports. According to them, the two players that will join the team are JKS, who previously was on Complexity and helped FaZe win in Katowice, and Hooksy, the IGL that got Copenhagen Flames to the players at the most recent major. What do you guys think about this new potential lineup? Will they be able to win major titles for G2? Let us know in the comments. And while one German organization, that being big, decided to renew their deals with Tapson and Gobi until 2027, Sprout announced some major changes. The team will head into the new season without their most experienced player, Speedy, who has been a part of the team for more than four years. Besides that, Sprout have officially announced the departure of their in-game leader, Rouse. In a statement on Twitter, they thanked him for his contributions and wished him good luck as he leaves for New Horizons. Oh, and by the way, Gorillas, a team that was put together by Flasha and Sunny a year ago and that went through some countless changes, will now be playing under the name Titans. And while the X and player is actually the only one remaining from the original lineup, the remaining players of the team are Nodius, Supra, Oscar, and MSL. Together with their coach LMBT, the team is now headed to a bootcamp to prepare for the upcoming season. We recently saw some news about the upcoming changes in the Brazilian scene, and last week we got even more updates around it. Right now it seems like the current plan is for Imperial to bench a Fenex, pick up Cello from MIBR, and for MIBR to sign Henny. This all makes quite a lot of sense, especially considering that at the moment, Godson don't have an active lineup since just recently three of their players got signed by Zero Zero Nation. This is the end of the episode, but I hope that you enjoyed our new editing. We'll be back with another one next week, so in the meantime, try not to lose your face at ELO, reconsider asking love advices on HLTV forums, and of course, repeat in a week. Bah, 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 bah.